Okay, this video is going to be fairly quick. We're going to add that chatbot that we just created to the client's website. Uh, so essentially we're creating a little customer chat bubble, which will be on all of the pages of the client's website. And that will take them into that main uh, core chatbot that we just built. Okay, so let me go into Smart Engage. And okay, so here is the bot that we built previously. So I'm going to click on lead magnets and we don't have any yet. So I'm going to click new lead magnet. And then this is going to be an opt in form. Click next. All right. And then let's just give it a name up top here. We're going to call this customer chat bubble. And we're going to select customer chat down here. And then once we do that, we have these options. Now, as far as the color goes, I try to match it to the existing website, um, depending on what their call to action buttons look like. So he's using a red based theme here. Um, so I may just use that. Uh, I'll match it to, it looks like their button color actually matches their logo as well. Uh, so there's this tool I use called, what is this? It's called color detector. Let's pull it over here. And then as you put your mouse cursor over certain colors, it will give you the hex code right here and then the RGB codes, right? So that changes based on what color you're on top of. So once you've hovered over the color you, you want to use, you click on F5 on your keyboard and it freezes this. So now I can copy this hex code and I can come back over to Smart Engage and I don't need that. And I can click on color and then instead of what it currently is here, I can just replace everything after the hashtag with the correct hash, uh, hex code. And now you can see it's taken on the color of what the website is going to be. So that's a nice way to match it to the website, depending on um, keeping some con congruency with their theme, their existing theme. Uh, then I will use a open chat window. So that will give a, a, a small little preview message prompting the user to uh, interact with it. And the greeting message uh, for logged in users, I make this the same for people who are logged in, even if we're logged out. And this is if they're logged into Facebook Messenger uh, or Facebook for that matter. And the greeting is just going to be, hello, do you, uh, let me see, do you have any questions? Uh, or, let me see, do you have an upcoming painting project I can assist you with. And then I'm just gonna copy that and I'm also gonna paste it down here so the same message will uh, pop up for either scenario. And then let's click next. And for the Facebook opt-in message, this is what are they going to see immediately after opting in. So for this, let's click on content templates and then confirm. I'm going to create a new content template here. And I usually will name this one, one moment. And then I'll click create. And then click on it. And just give it a second, let it load. All right, so now we have one moment here. And now I want to click on edit. Sometimes you have to just give that a second to, to load up, right? And now you can click it. All right, so this is the new one moment message. And all I'm going to do is delete this. And instead, I'm going to put one moment, please, dot, dot, dot. And I'm going to publish that. And now I'm going to close it. Okay, so that will be the message they get immediately after interacting with the chat bubble. And I'm going to show you how this works as we go. I'm then going to add this tag and the tag is, uh, I'm going to add a new tag and call it customer chat, customer underscore chat. Let's go ahead and click, uh, add customer chat. Good. And then we'll click next. 
And we've already installed that snippet of code earlier. That was the tracking code for Smart Engage, which should be on all of the pages. Colorbright already has it because I added that quite some time ago. And then we decide where we want this chat bubble to appear. We can have it only appear on certain pages or we can have it on all the pages and then hide it for, uh, from a few that we don't want it on. And then lastly, we have to whitelist the, the domain. This is a Facebook requirement. Uh, they just wanna make sure that we are authorizing it to be on this website. So I'm just going to copy the domain, right? So we're going to show it. Uh, actually, I'm not going to worry about, I'm not going to worry about hiding it or showing it, which by default means it will be everywhere. Uh, I do have to whitelist the domain though. So I'm just gonna put that in there like that. And we want to show this on mobile and desktop. And let's go ahead and click active. And then we can open it back up and just confirm everything is correct the way we wanted it. All right, so opt-in actions. We'll add this tag customer chat. We'll fire off the one moment, please. Uh, and then it will display on anywhere this tracking code is uh, was added, which was only the Colorbright website. And then we've whitelisted this domain name here for both mobile and desktop. All right, the next thing we want to do is go over to Engage, Automation, New Sequence, and let's name this one customer support bot. And we're going to click on the gear icon of the start uh, icon and run the automation every time it is triggered. The trigger for if, so we'll click on the gear icon here, condition tag is applied, customer chat, okay. Let's drag over the Facebook Messenger. Let's drag this arrow over like that. I'm going to pull over the actions um, block. Actually, I want the uh, delay block in between there. So then I'm going to pull the arrow over to the delay block and click on the gear icon here. I'm going to put a delay in of five minutes and click and it'll run on any day and then click OK. I'm going to drag an arrow from the delay block to the action block. And I'm going to configure the action block, smart engage, choose action. And we're going to remove tag from subscriber. The tag is going to be customer chat and then okay. And now I'm going to configure Facebook Messenger by clicking the gear icon, coming over to content templates. And then under this first folder here for templates, we have our color bright main templates, and here is the main chatbot. So I'll click that. And it's under promotional message where we will see our entire bot that we created. And then let's click go next to make sure it saves. And I'm going to activate this and I'm going to save it. So what does this do? Well, anytime, again, anytime it's triggered, no matter what, um, if someone has the tag applied of customer chat, which if you recall, the, the chat bubble we created adds that tag. So once that tag is added, then this Facebook Messenger sequence will execute. Um, then we're going to take a delay of five minutes, so a very quick amount of time, and we're going to remove that customer chat tag. Uh, this allows us to uh, uh, bring the person into the sequence from the customer chat tag. But then if they later come back to the bot uh, the next day or the next week, they can go right back through it and have that customer chat tag reapplied because it's already been removed at that point. Okay. So lastly, we need to just test that it actually works. So let's go back over to the website. And at this point, since the tracking script has already been added, we have nothing else to add to the website. All we have to do is just refresh this page. So let's do a refresh. And we should see that little chat bubble here appear. And there it is. 
and you can see it starts with hello do you have an uh, do you have an upcoming painting project i can assist you with so if i click on continue as daniel and i've already had a conversation before but this is where it starts right here welcome daniel one moment please now the tag was applied in the background and here gets the uh the full sequence is triggered where we have all these options now all right so we have successfully added this to the client's website and they'll have this visible no matter what pages they go to so i could go to the faq page right let that load and i'm still here now if you did want to hide it from certain pages again you would just come over to let me open up the lead magnets again you would just come over here to setup and you would hide on, you would paste the URL of the pages you don't want it to be on because right now by default, it's on all the pages. Um, I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, sometimes if the customer, if the client here has uh, a contact us page, which is pretty elaborate with like survey questions and stuff, I may take it away from that page. That way they only have one objective. You know, if they're already on the contact us page, they're probably going to fill that out. So I don't necessarily need the chat bubble here. Um, since this is a very basic form, I'm going to leave it. But like I said, if it's a, if it was more of a survey type of contact form or a little more involved, I would definitely just um, take that off. But in this case, I'm leaving it as is and we are good to go here. So everything looks good and now when someone comes in here to interact with this bot, um, you know, we will also be able to retrieve their contact details. And if they do submit their, their name or rather their uh, email and phone number and that sort of thing, then they will automatically get zapped over into the, uh, the email that goes out to the, the business owner. All right. So at this point we are all set with our Facebook chat bot. And that should conclude this section of the video series. I'll see you in the next one.